This is the Kilauea Volcano Eruption Update for the 4th of July, 2022. Kilauea Volcano is a shield volcano that is 4,091 feet tall or about 1,247 meters above sea level. It is about 250,000 years old and is located inside the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in Hawaii. Now Kilauea Volcano is a shield volcano due to its shield-like shape when viewed from the side. These are normally found over the location of an intraplate hotspot that constantly feeds magma to the surface. The broad shape is due to the very liquid lava flows that flow far from the vent and cools a long distance away. Now this is your stereotypical cone-shaped stratovolcano, which is usually found along the boundaries of plates. Here is what the summit of Kilauea looks like. It is not your stereotypical cone-shaped volcano. However, when people drive by on the main highway, people don't realize that they're passing the summit. The dimensions of the summit caldera is 4 by 3.2 kilometers or about 2.5 by 2 miles, with walls as high as up to 120 meters or about 400 feet high. Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater dominates the southwest part of the caldera. It is a pit crater within the caldera that has changed size over the course of centuries. It has actually doubled in size since 2018 after the 2018 eruption. Hale Ma'u Ma'u's dimensions are currently 1,000 meters by 700 meters and about 300 meters deep from the top of the caldera to the surface of the lava lake. Okay, so the eruption continues nine months in unabated since the 29th of September, 2021, with the exception of a few one or two day pauses in December and January. Over the last couple of weeks, the sulfur dioxide emissions varied anywhere from 1,100 to 2,400 tons per day. Lava output since the 29th of September 2021, based on current rates of extrusion, is around 98 million cubic meters of lava that has erupted. That is about 300 to 350,000 cubic meters of lava erupting per day. The surface of the lava lake has risen 400 feet or around 122 meters since the 29th of September 2021. So the total crater floor rise since the 20th of December 2020 is about 1,151 feet or around 351 meters. Anytime when I refer to the lava lake, this is the entire area of the lava lake of Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater. Now only 2% of the lava lake is exposed with fresh hot lava right here. However, squeeze ups of lava can take place anywhere on the crusted over surface of the lava lake. Okay, the pink is the lava that has erupted since the 20th of September, 2021. And the yellow is the Tifra Island that has formed in December of 2020 and it's slowly getting covered by lava as time goes on. Okay, if you look over here at the north part of the lava lake, over the course of three months, you will notice that the lava is starting to encroach this area. Eventually, it'll fill this low-lying area in and it'll start moving eastward and will eventually cover this area if the eruption continues at its current rate. Within the last month, there have been only a handful of earthquakes at the summit, but none on the east rift zone. So the east rift zone is quiet and sulfur dioxide emissions are negligible. This video shows the unstable rim of the lava lake collapsing. This happens when the level of the lava lake recedes. This is the summit tilt meter, which basically measures inflation and deflation of the volcano. Inflation means magma is moving into the volcano like a balloon, and deflation means magma input has diminished or stopped. The crests are inflation events, and the dips are deflation events. Now here you can see the correlation between the tilt meter and the rise and fall of the active part of the lava lake. Whenever there's a deflation event or a dip, the level of the lava lake is going to fall. Whenever there's an inflation event, the lava lake level is going to rise and sometimes overflow. Now from the 25th to the 29th of June, there was a deflationary event, which coincided with the drop of the lava lake. Another inflation event took place on the 30th of June, and the rise of the lava lake reflects that. But on the 2nd of July, deflation again. And here is the thermal time lapse over the course of two weeks. And you can see that the squeeze ups are primarily taking place on the western part and the northern part of the lava lake. And that wraps it up. Have a nice day.